okay, that's convenient. All right. Oh, headphones. Oh, wow. This is a cool intro. I did not see this intro on my phone. All right, well, then we're starting right now. This is great. Okay, well, what's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And David. That was great. <laughs> uh, I have this game uh, on my phone, but this is the first time I'm playing it through Steam. Um, and for those of you who are unfamiliar, this game is going to be going up on Geek for All, I believe. Um, and so I will ask you, or I guess for folks who are unaware, on Video Games for All, links down in the description box below, but for on Video Games for All, I take my wife Amy through video games that she has never experienced before, which is like all of them. And we're actually here, uh, Dave is actually here visiting us, one, because we love him and he's an amazing human being and we love spending time with him. Uh, but while he is here doing that, uh, he is also helping us go through Final Fantasy VIII. In fact, you've already helped us go through Final Fantasy VII. The whole playlist for that entire game, start to finish, is up on Video Games for All, so you're more than welcome to go check that out if you're interested. And Final Fantasy VIII will be coming soon. Um, and I guess depending on when you're watching this, if it's well after the fact, it might already exist. So you can go check that out as well if you're interested. But today, we are here to try out Marvel Snap, and I'm going to do something uh, that I usually do on Video Games for All with Amy, Dave. Yeah. What, if anything, do you know about Marvel Snap? I know that it exists. Is that all? It's card-based. It is card-based, yes. And that's about it. Okay. Um, I may cut this part out. I'm going to sign in with Google uh, to see if I can actually get my uh, phone game up here as well so we can play on my account uh, as opposed to starting a whole new account. Um no you know what because we're starting a new game let me let me uh play it from the beginning for you and then maybe later on we can get into sure. higher level play on my own account but we'll yeah, start at the base level the adventures are something <laughs> match one nick fury versus dr doom Turn one. <laughs> I, uh, how do I, okay. I played him, we end our turn. He played Electra, we played Spider-Man. Each card adds power and the highest power wins. Mm -hmm. So Spider-Man beats Electra two versus one. That was not a great rogue. <laughs> that was very deep. <laughs> Win two out of three locations. Mm -hmm. Turn three. It's Star Lord. Star Lord has a special ability. On reveal, if your opponent played a card here this turn, plus three power. Mm hmm. And it just shows that's what the back of the card looks like if you care. <laughs> so, uh, where would we like to put Star Lord at location one, two, or three? We have to try to predict where they're going to put their next card. Mm -hmm. It does note that we know New York is in the middle. Mm -hmm. That the, this location will be revealed next turn, mm -hmm. and this location will be revealed in two turns. Mm -hmm. But we could still play a card in any of those spots that we would like. I think you should put him in the middle. In New York, still. Yeah. You got it. You are correct. 
They played a card. Plus three power to Star Lord. Got him. <laughs> Nova Roma, tap a location to see what it does. I mean, it blatantly says draw a card right there, but sure, let's tap Nova Roma. Oh my God, it says draw a card. What? <laughs> so we each, uh, us and Doom, draw a card. Most cards have special abilities. So Hawkeye says, on reveal, if you play a card at this location next turn, mm -hmm. plus three power. And Medusa says... On reveal, if this is at the middle location, plus three power. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where would you like to play our cards? You just gonna watch? Move! Move! <laughs> uh, Hawkeye on the left. Okay, smart. And? Um, I guess put her in the middle. Okay. So, it may not have technically told you that, but the middle will now be full. You can no longer add cards to the middle. Okay. But I still think it's the right choice. I mean, it literally tells you to play it in the middle, so. It's time. Oh, that's what it says. <laughs> Iron Man has a powerful ability. Okay. Ongoing, your total power is doubled at this location. Okay. What's this? So the Wakandan Embassy gives plus two power to cards in players' hands hmm. when it is revealed, which is right now. And so... Now, if you remember, if we play a card where Hawkeye is, Hawkeye gets plus three power. Mm -hmm. If we don't, he does not. Would you like to play Iron Man with Hawkeye? I think it's good. Yeah. I am Iron Man. Ah. <laughs> Abomination. Where would you like to place Hulk, Dave? I suppose you should put him on the right. Makes perfect sense to me. Let's end our turn. America Chavez. Yeah, it is. We win all three locations. Hooray! And we win! Next time, I'll try to break a sweat. Got him. Nice win. Play games to visually upgrade your cards. And so Iron Man, you want to visually upgrade him? No. <laughs> Screw it. He looks perfect. <laughs> no issues. Okay. Let's visually upgrade Iron Man. He is frame broken now. So he's now considered an uncommon. Mm -hmm. uh, and now he has broken the frame of his card. Plus the frame is now green. Mm -hmm. And now we can upgrade again. Another free upgrade? Dang, so generous. Way to pat yourselves on the back, game devs. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh my god. Oh, that is nice. And now he is considered rare, and he has a blue outline. Upgrading cards unlocks new cards. Mm -hmm. Like the Punisher. Mm -hmm. So he is uh, three cost, two power. Ongoing. Plus one power for each opposing card at this location. Okay. So we add it to our deck. Game saved. Thanks. Match two. Nick Fury versus Agatha Harkness. Who they dig up this time? I'm great with children. Observe. Gross. <laughs> you start with one energy. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Playing cards consumes energy. You can play more than. You can play more than one card each turn. Plus one max energy each turn. Use it or lose it. Mm -hmm. And then we got Xandar. Cards here have plus one power. Okay. So this turn, we can play Quicksilver. Starts in your opening hand automatically because he's that fast. What's ah. your name? Sloth, is it? 
Wow. Or Misty Knight. She is a one cost two power. It just says we've got to save the city, AKA she does not have any special abilities. She just has flavor text. <clears throat> would you like to play Quicksilver or Misty Knight? And where would you like to play them? Uh, Misty on the left. Misty on the left. She will have three power. They played their own Quicksilver on the right. Now we have a three. Okay. Plus one energy per turn. So it's turn two. We now have two energy. We drew Medusa. We are at the vault. On turn six, cards can't be played here. And there are, as you can see, six turns. We're on turn two out of six. So we drew Medusa, two cost, two power, at the middle location, plus three power. Shove her in the middle. Makes sense to me. Shut up. <laughs> Shocker. Shocker's ability. First. The hub add, <laughs> adds a random card to each player's hand. Okay. So we got Mr. Fantastic. They played Shocker. It just says I'm going to blast you. He just has flavor text. But we got as a random card. First of all, we drew Hulk for the turn. Okay. But we got our random card, Mr. Fantastic. Ongoing. Adjacent... <laughs> Adjacent locations have plus two power. So if he's in the middle, a grant to the other two? Correct. Okay. And we have three energy this turn, and he costs three if you'd like. Sounds good. Wasp and Sentinel. Now, Sentinel yeah, is... Been... Just have the suit clean. Did Sentinel use his ability? On reveal, add another Sentinel to your hand. Oh my god. So she just got another Sentinel. Anytime she plays another Sentinel, she gets another one in her hand. Every time. Uh, and she played Wasp, who just has flavor text. My secret power is that I get things done. Lame. <laughs> now she costs zero yeah. and has one power. Okay. Um, it's turn four. We have four energy. We have a three cost and a one cost. Now, notably, the Punisher, plus one power for each opposing card at this location. Yeah. And Quicksilver is just a one, two. Yeah, so Punisher on the right, and Quicksilver on the left. I like it. I respect it. I like it. They played the thing. So now notably, it is turn five, mm -hmm. so they are reminding you that next turn you can't play any cards on the vault, but uh, this turn you can play Iron Man to double the power at a certain location, mm -hmm. or you can play Abomination. It is a five, nine. It just says, foolish rabble, you are beneath me. Mm -hmm. uh, I say Iron Man on the right. Iron Man on the right. I like it. So that would be 12. So we would... I, no, it would be 14 because Mr. Fantastic is giving plus two. So we would be winning that location. I like it. I am Iron Man. I stand corrected. 16, but still. Now, she played Sarah. It is turn six. Wow. The vault closed. Mm -hmm. We drew Cyclops, who had a snippy comeback. Uh, Sarah was five power... Five energy five power ongoing cards in her hand cost one less mm -hmm. but a minimum of one so mm -hmm. one cost cards don't cost zero but everything in her hand now costs one less you can play hulk plus 12 somewhere you can play abomination plus nine somewhere cyclops is a three four let's move x-men so no special ability for cyclops mm -hmm. either And obviously, as a reminder, you cannot play anything here. So. Uh, Hulk on the left. I agree. Okay, you win all three locations again. Victory. Nicely done. Thanks, Baritone Man. All along, Agatha. <laughs> awesome job. Visually upgrade another card. It's Hulk. 
So you get to have him break the frame. Like he's wont to do. <laughs> Upgrading cards unlocks new cards. You're going to tell us this every time. <laughs> but now we have Sentinel. Yay! And we can add it to our collection. Mm -hmm. Sentinel is waiting in your collection. Mm -hmm. Edit your deck here. Pop open your deck. Your new card is great. Excuse me? Replace Shocker. Aww. So because it's the same thing... Shocker's a 2-3, Sentinel's a 2-3, but Sentinel has an actual ability where Shocker does not. Mm -hmm. So, click Shocker, remove him from our deck. I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> and then add Sentinel to the deck. Your deck is incredible. Go dominate. So you click here. A new challenger awaits. Enter a name. Wait, what should we call you? Gerbil. Gerbil? Like gerbil? Yes. <laughs> Gerbil, confirmed. <laughs> okay, we have Quicksilver because he starts in our opening hand. Comertage. On reveal effects happen twice at this location. Mm -hmm. But we just have Quicksilver. Would you like him at location one, middle, left, middle, or right? Uh, middle. End our turn. We're playing an actual opponent, so we have to wait for them. <laughs> they had no turn one play. Add a squirrel to each location, because we're in Central Park now. Mm -hmm. We drew Sentinel for turn two. Left, middle, or right for Sentinel. Now, notably, Sentinel has an on-reveal ability. Mm -hmm. It will trigger twice if you put it here. Ooh, do that, do that. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's wise. You suggested it. <laughs> I reminded you <laughs> of what it did. Two Sentinels. Shocker. Oh, that's it. <laughs> and cards here have plus five power. Oh, that's a buff squirrel. At Nidavellir. We have three energy. We have Sentinels. And or Misty Knight. Uh, Misty in the center and Sentinel in on the right. Okay. Okay, we're tied, but their card is going to be revealed as the Punisher. Okay, so they have 23 power over oh, there. God. And we have 14 over here. We drew Star-Lord as a reminder on reveal. If an opponent played a card here this turn, plus 3 power. So notably, if we put Star-Lord on the left and they play a card there, he would get plus 6 power. Mm -hmm. But they have to play a card there. Mm -hmm. If they don't, it's he would just stay as a 2-2. Mm-hmm. Running a little low on time. Oh, um... Star, on, Star Lord on the left, Sentinel on the right. I like it. Okay. They did not play a card with, with Star Lord, unfortunately. So. It was a good... It, it was worth trying. And in the middle... Medusa. Okay. They are winning these two locations. It is turn five. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to go? Uh, let's, what's Medusa do? Uh, Medusa, if she's in the middle, plus three power. Right. Uh, Iron Man doubles a location's power, and Abomination is just plus nine somewhere. Uh, Iron Man on the right. I think that's wise, because he still gets plus five from zero, mm -hmm. and then doubles it in total, so it would be 27 doubled to 54. Seems good. I hope so. <laughs> Me too. Abomination, which would be very good for them, but... 
54. Iron Man. Iron Man. Mm. Fantastic, Dave. Very nicely done. Thanks. All right. Well, we've got Hulk if we want turn six. Obviously, we've got two, four, six. Like, we could just, well, we only have two slots left, but. Mm -hmm. So, it's up to you how you want to distribute this. Uh, Medusa in the middle and Cyclops on the left. Look at that. That was very bright. <laughs> All right. I like it. Um, do you know what this is? Nope. Do you, do you want to know what this is? Sure. Oh, we can't do it. They haven't taught us about it yet. Damn it. Fine. No. <laughs> it's fine. We'll learn about it soon, I'm sure. <sighs> Folks who know what that is will know why I wanted to check it and show Dave what it was. <laughs> Two cards in the middle for them, which means you win the left location almost certainly. Iron Man. I am. I am. So we lose the middle location. Rocket Raccoon. Never before seen. On reveal, if your opponent played a card here this turn, plus two power. Well done. So they did. They got four. But Victory. you only have to win two out of three locations. Mm -hmm. It's a strategy for this game. If there's a certain location where it seems like it's out of your reach, give up on it. Who cares? So, do congrats. Get, do you get bonuses on if you get all three? No, but there are daily challenges. Uh -huh. And very, very rarely there will be a challenge that will say win all three locations. Mm -hmm. But unless it's that, no. There is no benefit to winning all three. We got rank progress of one cube. Mm -hmm. And you have enough Misty Knight boosters to upgrade. So we earned six Misty Knight boosters from winning that game. So if we click here, that's how we upgrade Misty. We'll get plus one. Upgrade card to uncommon for 25 uh, of these resources mm -hmm. and five of these resources. Nice. <laughs> and now, claim your reward. So you can see the reward track here. Mm -hmm. Jessica Jones, Kazar, mm -hmm. Mr. Fantastic, Spectrum, Nightcrawler, mm -hmm. Wolfsbane, and you can kind of see White Tiger up there. Okay. So first is Jessica Jones. Four cost, four power, on reveal... If you don't play a card at this location next turn, plus four power ah, to Jessica. Just a loner. Exactly. Exactly right. Earn boosters every game. Visually upgrade your cards. Unlock new cards. Cool. I don't know if you got that because they've mentioned it multiple times now. But, but yeah, this is kind of the newer part is that like the first two games, they were just like, here, here's free upgrades. The way that it works is you earn boosters for a random, or a random card in your deck every game. Uh, and then obviously you can use them to visually upgrade your cards, as it says. And then the more you upgrade, the more your tracker goes up and the more new cards that you get. Okay. You can upgrade any time from your collection. Because obviously it's going to be resource management. I mean, you saw that we needed, we only had a thousand of the blue resource and uh, six of the green resource, which now we only, or the, the, yellow resource which now we only have one mm -hmm. so protect your account link your account to access it anytime or prevent loss of progress or purchased content so this is the moment where we would uh add my account here i think what we're going to do is end this video for this week and then we can come back next week and i can show dave all of it <laughs> if possible i don't actually know if i can link my account but the best way that you can find out if that actually works or not is to join us next week. Um, so please make sure while you are here to subscribe and ring that bell so that you will get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including more of this series, I guess, next week. Um, Dave, what did you think so far of this game? Visually impressive. Yes. And a very interesting concept. I don't think I've seen that before. Okay, like the like the three locations and yeah. the like win two out of three kind of thing. Yeah. It's it's really cool. It gives a lot of opportunity for strategy. Like I was saying, like if there's one location where your opponent is dominating, you just go, okay, I don't care about that one location. I'll focus on the other two, and hopefully they'll have used so many of their resources on that one that they won't be able to beat you on the other two. And I do like the flavor of it all. I do I do like it, the individual like 
you know, Jessica being the loner and the uh, fan, Mr. Fantastic reaches out for the both of them. It's, like, it's cool. Yeah, very creative. Uh, yeah, because I, I mean, we didn't really mention it, but we're both big Marvel fans. And so we are aware of these characters and that they can have flavorful abilities and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing your feelings on it next week. Um, whether we continue on at this base level, so to speak, or whether we go into it with um, kind of higher levels, or you know whatever you, whatever you want to call it. If I can link my actual account where I've been playing for quite some time, like I said, we'll tune in next. Or if you turn it, tune in next week. You will see where we go either way. But for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe, and I'm David. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.